Hello, it's me. Okay. Uh, I already recorded this once and then realized my cap my microphone was on the other side of the room. So instead of just doing this like I did before with big camera um, and me just talking about the game, how about we just do a quick run of the game? Um, I just want to go over a couple of things very quickly. You can see early access, it says version 0.102. It used to say 0.0.9. Um, and now, so here's the, here's the kicker. First, we're going to delete the game. And I'll go over why. And we're just going to play through the first run of the game. I'm going to up the music because the music is really good. And I turned it down whilst I was playing kind of offline. Um, so I could like listen to it. Oh, you'll see all this stuff. You'll see all this stuff in the real content. This isn't the real content of the game. That's the funny thing. This isn't this isn't what you're gonna this isn't what you're here for, to be honest, because I'm going to explain what happened. Dominic and myself from Dark Zero, we thought that this was a review. Which is, you know, we play a game in its release state and we give it a score from, you know, one to ten. 10 being kind of life-changing, 1 being absolutely completely unplayable, 5 being average, right? 7 being good. Everybody knows uh, reviewers like to give out 7. That's, that's because generally games are good. Um, there's, you know, otherwise, you know, there are a lot of games that come out that we don't play um, that are generally 5s, right? So 7s is usually good. Anyway, uh, the main thing is we were under the impression that this was a review game. I was playing on 0.0.9. .0 I thought that was weird. You'll hear me point that out when you watch the videos. You will hear me point that out. Um, but it did say kind of, early, it said release candidate. I know it was early access, but it was like release candidate from early access is what I assumed. So I thought I had an early access build that was the release candidate for version one coming to the store. That is not the case. It is releasing, it released into early access today, which is when my review was supposed to go up. My review didn't go up, or preview didn't go up for a couple of reasons. One, um, which I'm very glad it didn't now, because otherwise, yes, I would have reviewed it and given it a worse a, a worse score than it will deserve when it releases, for sure. Um, because, yeah, like I said, it's, it's actually just going into early access. And a couple of things happened during my playthroughs. Um, I had some issues with this game, like I said. One is I can't beat it because there is an annoying bug. Basically, the game, you play through the game, and you can see I'm just blasting through it now. You, the amount of times I've beaten this game in the past week is honestly absurd. And the problem with it is, um, when you beat the game, you get a boss orb, you get this special boss orb. And what happens with that boss orb is you can upgrade the game to like new game plus basically there's it's like an ascension level if you look at other roguelites um it's it's like an ascension level in slay the spire or in hades you know the pact of punishment basically it makes the game a little bit more difficult in different ways like you might heal less enemies might do more damage um you know things like that and then you've got to try and beat the game again with that extra thing um that extra difficulty oh, i'm getting achievements that's interesting obviously they weren't in there before um and so, then you're supposed to keep beating the game again on these different ascension levels. I beat the game on the first ascension level, I beat the game on the second ascension level. I beat the game on the first ascension level after about two tries, you'll see it in the videos if you watch. Um, and so, oh, I'm already dying because I'm not paying attention. Oh, I can't do that yet because I don't have my buffs, um, my power up. Um, but yes, basically, after a couple of tries, I beat the game the first time, and then I beat the game like immediately uh, on the second ascension level, straight after. Then... I lost all of my progress. Something happened and it set me back down to level zero, like the base level or whatever. It sent me back down to the base level and I played the game again. I beat the last boss again um, and I didn't get anything. I didn't get a boss orb. I was like, that's weird. Maybe there's something, you know, maybe I need to just be it again. Maybe there's something else. Maybe I need to go down a different path because I realized there are two different paths from this first world that you can take. Um, and so, you know, it splits off into the kind of second part of the game. There's this first level, then there's two different levels on one side, two different levels on the other side, and then it kind of merges again. You have the same last two levels after a, after an intermediate boss. Um, and so I just thought maybe there's something I have to discover. Beat the game a couple more times, probably two or three more times, never got a boss orb. At that point, I was like, okay, something's wrong. 
I asked Dom to reach out to the developers, but it was the weekend, so he couldn't. Uh, I mean, he did, but they didn't get back to us right away. I wanted to make sure for release that I was being fair, so I reset my save file. It wasn't easy. I had to find where the save was and find where the backup save was. I had to turn off Steam Cloud so the, ba um, the cloud backup wouldn't take over. Um, basically, I, I found it. I reset the game. We're back to, to uh, step one, right? I played the game again, beat it the first try, leveled up, beat it the second try, leveled up, beat it the third, um, new game plus plus, and then the same thing happened. I kind of went into a new run, then I left the new run because I hadn't collected something, so basically you can kind of have money um, before you start the run, it's like one of the upgrades on the skill tree, and so I didn't collect it. it like. It, like, in this kind of situation, imagine this portal took you to the game, and I was trying to collect one of these. It's the same button. It's RT. And so it took me through the portal instead of letting me collect stuff. That screwed me up. Um, when I went back through it, it had reset my game back to back to being on simple mode, uh, new game normal, and I couldn't do anything about it. Um, I played the game again, 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 three times, beat the boss, last boss again, no boss orb. So it just kind of locked you out of the game. I did it a third time, and it was the same thing. It just locked you out of the game um, at that point. And I was really mad because, you know, I thought this was a release game. And so that was it. I was kind of done with the game. I wanted to make sure that we spoke to developer first before I made a, re uh, a review. Um, and luckily, actually, uh, I didn't write anything because, yes, this is an early access build of the game. That bug, I'm sure, will be ironed out as long, um, along with many others. But that issue, combined with the fact that I was getting kind of bored of the game because, you know, there wasn't much content. It's the same, you know, you're doing five levels. It's the same two bosses, uh, the same upgrades all the time. And, yeah, there's a, there's a good amount of them. There's a good amount of weapons as well but it just it got to the point where i was blasting through the game so fast as well that it just didn't matter that i was going to different areas i just got used to the game so so easily and i couldn't level up the difficulty it just became a chore to get through um each one of the zones and so i was gonna probably give the game like say a five yeah 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 yeah. i know all of this we'll take the power of the level up and uh, level up Oh, it's, it's green, not blue. Okay. Um, the extra life I'm in. And so, yes, it's not a review game. It's a preview game. That is number one. That is thing number one. Number two, I already kind of briefly touched on it. This is early access. And so all of those issues I had with kind of getting a bit bored with the game, the gameplay loop, I mean... Of course, that's because they're, they're not finished with the game yet. You know, they've um, they've just started. But what they have is an absolute... Now that I know it's in early access, I can praise it all day because it has such a great foundation. It's so much fun. But it's just not fun forever, you know? It's like, I was like, oh, this is a roguelite that has, I don't know, four hours of content? And then it resets your save file? I was like, this is, this is pretty bad for a roguelite. But no, this is version 0.1. So it's actually an, an insanely good foundation for a game. It's really, really fun. The movement and everything, the, um, the enemies, some of the enemies I really, really like. It just has such a great foundation um, that I think this is going to be an awesome game. Uh, maybe, maybe they'll spend a year in early access. Maybe they'll spend six months, whatever. But they've got to the point where it's already, like I say, got this this solid base that everything they're adding to it now is just the fun stuff it's just more of everything which is exactly what i want to see um which was exactly my complaint if this was a review that would have been my complaint i want more um of everything and so yeah here we are i'm i'm gonna do it there's a preview link below no doubt but i had to preface this video with this information preface this this set of videos with this information because like i said i played probably there's five videos where I'm under the impression that this is a review game. And so it's not really fair when I'm getting, you know, kind of overly annoyed about this this issue that I that I faced about it resetting my save file. And then I was trying to play the game again and again and again because I'm, you know, I'm trying to fight against the game basically so I can beat the game in order to review it, give it a fair review. I do like to always beat the games I'm playing, um, especially a roguelite and you need to beat them several times, you know, you need to really you get through them a lot of times in some cases. Um, but yes, 
now that we know that is the case, everything I complain about is kind of moot because everything I do say is is being taken into account. I'm complaining there's not enough of stuff. Well, there's going to be more stuff. That's that's the whole point of the early access. So, yeah, I think this is going to be an awesome game. Um, I think it's in a great state right now and it's only going to get better and better and better. So, yeah, I wish them all the best. I just thought whilst I'm doing this, instead of just talking to the camera, why not just give it another shot? Maybe they do, they have fixed the, I've got, I hope they have. I'm going to show you, we're going to get to the last boss. I'm only on zone two, here's the problem. I'm, I should be much further in the game by now. Uh, I should be, I should be able to be on the next world at least, but probably takes me about 30 minutes to get through a run. The problem is, maybe less sometimes. But the problem is uh, we're weak. We don't have any of the upgrades. It's the first run of the game, so it's a little bit awkward. I wanted to just try and maybe get to the last boss, beat the last boss, uh, just to see if the boss orb works and see if I can replicate that issue once again. If I can replicate the issue, if it hasn't been solved, I would say stay away from this game in early access just until that has been fixed, which is probably the first thing they're going to get, you know, complaints about for sure. I don't know why nobody else you know if they, if they don't know about that bug already i'm, I'm I'd, be, I'd be shocked um but it seems pretty easy to replicate so i just thought maybe I, we can help out here i already sent an email to dom and he already followed up with them but uh they haven't said anything back yet but this because this this build is newer like I say it was 0 .0. 0 .0. 0 0.0.9 and now it's 0 .0, 0, uh, 0 0.1 02 I'm thinking, you know, all of those different updates, they should hopefully include that fix. And I just want to make sure it, it is in there. Oh, there's a shop already. Nice. Can we buy anything? Oh, we'll, we'll pick up one of those for sure. Why not? It's it's more throw damage. I do like throw damage, especially on the first run of the game because our gun is really kind of crappy. Um, in fact, the, the, weird, the crazy thing is I actually did another run of this game today and earlier um because this morning i was like as soon as it released into early access i was like you know what i'm gonna see if they fixed it they hadn't fixed it i tried it again they hadn't fixed it but that was that was a, another version that was like uh that might have just been 0 0.0.1 and now it's 0 0.102 or something like that but it was i did play it again this morning or maybe it was released definitely at that time but maybe it just they hadn't pushed the latest build or something but yes, yeah, so I've actually already beaten the game once again today. I'm like doing it over and over again, and every time it pisses me off more and more because I'm like, oh, I'm kind of done with this game. I, you know, I've seen everything this early access build has to offer, and that's really not the fault of the developer. But it's, it's just that one bug is is getting on me, my nerves so much. <laughs> I really need it to be to be done with. Um, oh yeah, and there's achievements now. Uh, I'm getting these achievements, which I also didn't get this morning, so. Something's definitely obviously been updated. It would be nice to just see that it has been fixed, that's all. Scrapyard. All right. See, we're not getting the time. We're not beating the time, which usually I do, obviously. I would very much like to buy that weapon upgrade next. I really do need more more shards i'm not getting as much shards as i usually do because you, you also seem to get more shards on later difficulties oh i know well, obviously the speed as well also gets me extra shards because uh you get a burst of them you get a burst of shards for doing each level like so the funny thing is you're watching this in reverse because you're watching me play it at the level i am now and then straight after this ends you're gonna be watching me play at like beginner level so it's kind of funny um it's, it's, it's kind of strange how, how that just happened, but but yeah, I wanted to I was just getting bored I already did this video once and I'm like ah, I'm not sitting here and talking to a camera again um, I might as well just give it another run through um, and At least then I can have fun whilst I'm <laughs> whilst I'm talking, but yeah, I'm really excited for this game's future It's just like I said, yeah, unfortunately a couple of a couple of weird things happened me uh, mistaking what kind of content I was going to be making for this game and uh, what the expectations were and then obviously also that bug that just kept ruining my life. I should hopefully be able to write this up tonight though. I'm hoping to. 
I've got a lot of work to do, so it would be nice to be able to... I don't want to be like, get this out of the way, but kind of get this out of the way. You need to get out of my life. Got you. Right. Um, damage, 9%. I think that's the last damage one we'll take, because I think that's... Oi! Oi! Uh, that came out of nowhere. I don't know if we're going to make it, to be honest. I'm playing very fast and loose, as if I've got a bunch of upgrades, because usually, um, it's not a difficult game. If you've got a couple of upgrades, you're, you know, once you get used to some of the enemy patterns and stuff, you, you I mean, like I said, I've beaten it on the first run before. It's just, I think I was a little bit more patient right now. Oh, yeah, I don't even have that ability yet, so. I should get, I don't know where I have to get to, but I should get like the break through the walls ability, maybe in the next, maybe after the boss. I obviously, I also would like some better power-ups. The power-ups I got are kind of just, I'm, I'm choosing whatever, and I really should be trying to get some better power-ups. Namely, ooh, I've got the one that gets me a shield, which is nice. I would like to, What else do I want to be able to do? Make some rockets on a dodge maybe would be nice. I just need some other forms of damage. Stunning when you throw something at the enemies. Stunning them. That's always really nice. Ooh, fireball throw. That's a, that's an absolutely busted upgrade. Let's go for that. Dude, I know all the upgrades. I know all of them. I'm telling you. I've, like I said, I've, I've unlocked them all like four times each. I'm not joking. All right, let's make his way through. Little guy, come with me. God, this gun's so boring. This gun's the most boring gun. It's just so slow. I remember the beating the last boss with this gun's very annoying. Uh, it, takes, it just takes a really long time for it to die. Oh yeah, this is it. This is the power up. Here we go. Boost ability. So now we're gonna it's gonna take us to somewhere else. Or it's gonna force us to boost through this wall here. Yep. Here we go. We're all good. Right, you wanna check make sure you've been to all the different areas. We have been. Let's go. This should probably be the boss area. It is not. This should be the boss area. It's not! Are you kidding me? The shield on grab is really nice, and obviously then the fireball on throw is really nice. Oh, actually another thing I noticed um, when playing this morning, one, one thing that definitely did update, was there are actually things to throw in the final boss area now, when there didn't used to be. It used to just be... You had a couple of enemies that you had to fight. Well, quite a few enemies you had to fight. And some of them you could throw, but the boss is shielded at that time anyway, while their enemies are around, so you actually can't throw anything at the boss, really. Um, but now there's, like, actually meteorites and stuff, so... Right, well, this is the mini-boss here, so... Uh oh Let's make him kill all of his friends. We do have Bedlam, so... That's one of the upgrades I've got, that allows the enemies to, like, do extra damage to each other. Ooh, that's the scariest attack that he has. Ow! That hurt. Didn't see that one coming, to be honest. This one's alright, because we can just... Whoop. Whoop. I want to throw this at your face. Shoot in the back. Ugh. I'm not quite getting to him fast enough. I'm not fast enough. There we go. Just a nice big shot there. Defeat the Stealth Shadow mini-boss. Alright, so we're halfway through the game. Uh, that's level 3. Now there's the boss and two more levels. Um, the, this boss is pretty easy. Didn't get the time again, you see. We're just not strong enough. And um, this is regular deals damage to nearby enemies. Boost. I do want this upgrade, so I guess we'll just go with that one. Because it's the only thing we can afford. Um, stabilized shield. A stable shield is really awesome. But this one here is, is absolutely fantastic right now. Just because it's a, it's a legendary upgrade and it does a lot for us. We're going to like heal fully because we barely have any health anyway to heal. 
Um, and I think you heal fully anyway on, on stable, on the new game normal, on standard difficulty. I'm pretty sure you get all your potions back and you heal fully. The teleport's the most annoying thing. I would like to be able to throw medium-sized objects, that's a different upgrade. Right now, we're only able to grab little things. What we don't like of this boss is the laser that chases you around and the teleporting. The teleporting can get you in, in some really awkward spots like that there. Right, it's two, three sides gone. Four gone. Right, now we've just got to do some damage to the boy. Don't be a laser. Oh, it's the laser. All right, we're a little faster. One big tip, um, you're a lot faster when you're not shooting, so don't hold shoot and move around when the laser's chasing you. That goes for this boss and the last boss, and it's something that I probably should have figured out sooner. But I was like, I can't escape this laser. And that's because I'm trying to do maximum damage. I'm holding down the shoot button, right? Like, very silly. Hey, oh, defeat Behemoth without taking damage achievement. All right, that's pretty nice. Um, there you go. Now we get stable shield. That's awesome. Upgrade one power to glitched. Well, we still want two more purple ones in the next two levels because I would like to get the fireball leveled up again. Fireball's broken. Well, like actually it wasn't good because on the, on the boss, you can't use it on the last boss, but now that there are things to throw at the last boss, it's going to make it really busted. Oh, this guy is the healer. I need to kill the healer first. Well, we killed the other guy first, but it's important that you get the healer. Oh my god, what are you doing? Die. Don't go through those red lines, they don't hurt you, but they call more enemies down. I only discovered that recently, because they just I never ran into one before, and then all of a sudden I was like, where the hell all these enemies come from? And that's when I realized. Because I always thought it was damage, so I, I took care. I've never seen this guy's attack go off. It has like a circle, and it's like counts down from five, and I've never seen it hit zero, so really have no clue what it does so I'm because of that I'm scared of it here it is because it could do anything <laughs> don't like these guys we don't like those guys because they have the attack that comes back it's you're gonna be really fun you're gonna you're gonna I think you're gonna have a good laugh watching these videos because I'm obviously I'm so knowledgeable of the game now and then I'm you're just gonna see me be a doofus like making all the beginning mistakes learning all of this stuff for the first time but seeing it in reverse must be quite funny all right I don't need the cohesion that's that's healing health is cohesion because you're in a glitch so you're in like a, you're in a simulation and for sure the the girl is the bad guy the, the main girl is your friend um, but I don't know, because I can't see the ending of the game. <laughs> I can never get there. I don't even know how many difficulty levels there are. Like I said, I got to four, I think it was. Um, I think I beat the game, yeah, beat the game three times, but I couldn't get, I didn't even get to try the fourth one. I assume there's maybe five difficulty levels. Music badass. And I'm pretty sure this is new music as well. There's more music tracks, because there was... The other earlier, it was just the, it was like just the one, and it was awesome. But it's you know still just the one, so you get you get kind of tired eventually. Um, yeah, we do want the purple ones, remember, because I want to upgrade the fireball, just because it's like a legendary one. And if we can glitch it out, let's upgrade it twice. It's just gonna be even more busted. Hey, hey, you so much. Get out of here. We can go back for that cohesion whenever we need it. I think we're okay for now. Just a second. Ow, yeah, if I could have any upgrade, I think probably being able to throw medium-sized objects or stun enemies on, on hitting them with a throw. The throw is the best part of the game because it's the most fun part of the game and it's also, like, the most busted, like, damage-wise. What the hell? What are you doing here? That was weird. There was an enemy in a stage that, like, I could leave. I could leave the area. You see? That's what this does, but I wanted to get the healing. Let's throw you into a rock. Who cares? Turn you into a fireball yourself. Uh, oh yeah. These guys throw rockets, so they're pretty easy because you can just grab the rockets and just. You actually want to keep them alive, kinda, so you can use the rockets against other people. 
These guys are kind of annoying. These ones, yeah, like I said, I've never seen this guy's attack go off. Because of that, I'm kind of scared of him. Just because I don't know what to expect. These guys can be quite dangerous. In fact, both of these ships can be dangerous. I really don't like that one because you can't grab that one. Uh, if you know, if you saw it, but it was like a kind of like a fat uh, shot. There you go. Now this guy has become like the other ship, you know, like once you break the nose off. This guy, he's so funny. Look, this guy, five, four. I wonder what happens. I wonder if you just die. We'll never know because it's never going to hit me. I don't have anything to throw. I'm so weak. There's something up there. Oh, I got hit doing that. Silly. All right. Um, yeah. Just in case, I know you didn't see what that was because I know what the icons are now. But that was like rockets. So they're like, is it they become friendly? Rockets become friendly, or it's after a dodge? It's one of the two. But either way, I get rockets, um, and the rockets are good. Plus, I have a red upgrade card or whatever they are so I can upgrade it because rockets are red Very aggressive oh you're the healing ship lol you didn't do anything in that level come here I'm gonna grab you boop got you with a big shot see those ones they chase you around those ones or they explode like that or they chase you around and you can't grab them they look like you can grab them. There probably should be some kind of coloring mechanic so that you know that they're ungrabbable because everything else of that size is grabbable. So it seems a bit weird, but yes, there should be it should be some kind of coloring thing. Oh, another purple one. There we go. Now we can upgrade our fireballs. Really hate those guys. Come here. Fortunately, we had our shield. We had a guy grabbed, so... Don't destroy the box. Might have some crystals inside for us to upgrade. Buy some upgrades with. Oh, he's gonna... No, no, shoot me down here, down here, down here, down here, down here, down here. Here we go. Oh, it's healing. Well, whatever. It's still good, I guess. This guy with the ring. You're so fun. What a fun enemy. I really like that guy. I really like his design. Oh, shotgun blast guy. Did you actually get... No, I think I got you with my shield then. Um... You see, I'm, I'm, I do have a lot of fun with this game. It is a lot of fun. It's just, like I say, playing it again and again and again and again and again. You know, anything is going to get boring. Um, and that kind of is what happened. This is, why is this more, this is more fun than a regular run? Because I'm so weak and I am really, really want to beat the game again so I can kind of test the, the change. And so I kind of have, you know, something to fight for. You know, I have kind of skin in the game here. It's... It makes it more interesting. I guess I'm still not really tryharding. I'm kind of building a doofus, but you know, it's it's still fun. Still have healing. Should we need it? This guy's dead. We do not need it. Turn into a rock. Defeat the Flak Bomber mini boss. I wonder if I've got to beat all the bosses without taking damage. Equip five or more upgrade pro protocols. I don't know what that means. Um. We didn't get the timer again. We just won't get it on this time obviously. Um, I'll take the damage upgrade. Ooh, we've got more money. In that case, we'll take this one. I do like that upgrade. Double red. Oh no! Yeah, they're legendary. The enemy. There we go. And then this one is what we wanted. And do we have any slot for blue or purple? No. Okay. All right, last level. For the boss. What is this? Frontiers, yeah. Shard Frontiers, that's the one. All right. Make quick work of this level. Now, you've got to be really careful on this one. It's got some pretty insane enemies. Well, speaking of insane enemies, here we go. These guys are the worst. They're not the worst. I'll show you the worst, but these guys are annoying. These guys are also really bad. Still not the worst. What are you? Are you? No, you're cohesion. Great. We'll come back for you, no doubt. You bitches! We'll come back for you! Let's 
let's um you know skirt around the outside and throw stuff inwards to the center we're definitely not going to get the the time for this one i mean it was oh that one they're really bad as well because they explode their bullets explode and then explode again oh they shoot out like six bullets and then they all explode into more bullets which is really really bad i need you dead i need you dead i need you sir i need you dead there's more cohesion we're gonna grab it right we do have the other health thing but we're gonna i think i should be more careful i really should now that i'm so close i should try and and actually win this which means kind of go around the outside and throw stuff into the center and the reason we can do this is because of the fireball that i told you about that the fireball upgrade that i got and then medit legendary because it just makes everything that we throw into like a giant fireball we still want to do i know it's, it might sound crazy because it's just oh those are the worst guys these guys are the worst these guys are the absolute worst you'll see why they just shoot a million tiny little rockets out in this giant cone area. It's really crazy. Right. If you can get behind them like this, then you're golden. But, yeah. As far as guys that you need to take care of immediately, those ones with the shots, they're, they're priority number one. Then these guys are probably priority number two, these red ships. They have a lot of health, um, and they're very annoying. Because they can, they hit you often from off screen, which is which is really awkward. Those rockets coming in handy, but yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, we got a couple of the worst enemies possible here. All together, we need that guy dead. Needs you really dead. You're dead, but. You're off, you're okay. This one here, I need in the middle dead. This one, yep, yep, yep. Because look, the bullets explode and they make this really awkward pattern. There we go. Um, I don't think damage is going to help at this point. How about more health? I think damage is maxed out, so more health should be good. If I can kill you before you can shoot at me, that would be excellent. It worked. These are awkward, for sure, but they're not the worst. Damn, the music's the yeah they've 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 got more tracks and it's awesome. Like I say, the music was already was already kind of it was fire, but there the just wasn't enough of it. And now it looks like they they've really gone off. It's nice. It's just this kind of like funky rock. It's pretty cool, man. Get five thousand credits. Okay, that happened quite fast. Oh, there's a healing bot. I saw him. There you are. No, you're not a healing bot. You're not a healing bot. You look like him a little bit for a second. There you are. Oh. I need you dead. We got him. We got the healing bot dead. He actually died to one of his own friends, I guess, because the bedlam icon popped up. Ow. Hate him so much. The pattern is just awful. Now we've got nothing to throw, so we need to just kind of... Oh, there's one there. Finish that guy off. Right, right, right. We're all good. Oh, the other guy died. How? Okay. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, there he is again. We got him. We got him. We got him. Oh, the fire. Yeah, we need to heal up. You need to die. Oh my god, there's so many of them. They all died to me just throwing fireballs into the center. That's what I love to see. Is this the boss? No. Shit. I've, I've, got a, I've got an issue, all right? I've got a problem. I can't finish the level until I've done everything. So even if I... I know. I know it's an issue. I know it's a problem. I know I absolutely don't need to do everything to, to, to win, but I do. You don't understand. It's not a true victory. If you leave even, any, even one guy alive, you failed in my eyes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, please. Jeez. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, they got me. They got me. I don't have an extra life, do I? No, I don't. I must have already used it. Shit. I didn't realize that. So I've already died once. Right. 
Is this, this the only guy left? Because I do have a shield now. He's gone. Right, there's an extra life. Boop. And we can even upgrade it to get two extra life. Okay, ten, 10 powers at the same time. Nice. We are going to go here and go down and get this cohesion real quick. That I told you we'd come back for. Um, we can go here and get this one real quick. And then I'm going to shoot across here to get to this area. I got hit again? Unbelievable, unbelievable. Leave me alone. There's got to be probably, probably two or three more stages to go, but there's obviously the boss as well. This mini boss usually isn't that tough, but obviously there's a lot of... Yeah, yeah, you see what I mean? One of these guys gets you in a bad position and you're dead. Because he can just follow you around. Can the can the shock, um, can the laser? It's just the worst. It really sucks. They suck. They really, really suck. Okay. Where is the to go? Just here. I'm in trouble now. Gotta be careful. There is a bad, there's a really bad ship over there. I don't like to engage with. Oh, there's one. Just die. There we go. Got you. Alright, here we are. Let's see if we can do it. We do have an extra life. Kill an enemy with his own missile. Love that as an achievement. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? You, sometimes you're just not fast enough. I hate that. Damn, I really need to grab a couple of these little guys. He makes them, that's the thing. He makes them. Okay, here we go. Just take out anything we can early on. Ooh! That was an awful pattern to get caught in between. Uh oh, uh oh. We've got a shield. We need more rocks. We need more rocks. We just need to throw them into the center. Leave me alone. I think the other guys just died. Kill you before you can do anything bad. Another one of you guys. You're dead. Uh oh. There's the main guy. He's not as bad as some of the other ones, honestly. As long as we can hit him in the butt. We just dodge. We just dodge. We just dodge. We just shoot him. Shoot him up a little bit. Shoot him in the butt. Shoot him in the butt. Shoot him in the butt. Get a rock. Throw at him. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Get a rock. Face me, you coward. Turn around. We're good, we got a shield anyway. Mm, turn around! Dead, right. Final boss! We got there and we still have an extra life. And I'm gonna upgrade that extra life to be another extra life. So we should be pretty Gucci. We should be pretty good. The problem is I'm gonna be adding this 40, now 40 minute video that was supposed to be like a five minute intro. This is now gonna be on the end, on the beginning of another like 40 minute video. Just because I couldn't control myself and I couldn't just sit here and talk to a camera for five minutes. Instead I had to play the game again. I was just like, well, you'll be bored listening to me. I'll be bored talking. Oh, it's too red I need, damn. I have two purple, which isn't gonna do anything for us. Well, we still do have the two extra lives. What are you gonna do? We're fully healed. We've got his health back, health potion back. Um, there are now apparently things to throw on the boss. That's what I noticed anyway. Um, so, yep. Oh no, that's not the boss area in here. Let's see. Yep, you see? A couple of things to throw at the boss. 
which is just fantastic. Usually the boss has like a blue ring of energy around it, but not this time. I'm sure it'll get there. Easiest part of the boss is just that. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now the enemies are here. Now you get to see some enemies that you didn't even get to see during the run because they're from the other side. These ones we see. Oh, there's a spider level. There's a spider one. We didn't get to see those, did we? Did we? I actually can't remember. No, I don't think we went to the, the abyss. We went to the poisoned. Oh no, the spiders are on the poisoned one, are they? You see, you play the games. I played through the game so fast now. I don't even like think about what world I mean. I'm just like, yeah, just I know what the enemies do, but I don't even like think like, oh yeah, I need to go down this path or there's that path or it's going to change the game anyway, because it really doesn't. I don't really have a preference for one, you know, type of enemy or the other. Right, we need to stay close in the middle here. This is, this is quite brutal. You see, if you have a better gun, this is just a cakewalk. Unfortunately, because it is the final boss. Probably shouldn't be that easy. Shouldn't be able to call it a cakewalk, but... Pan comido. Eaten, pa eaten bread. As Mexicans would call it. And there we go. Right, so look, we've got a boss orb. Right, an apex orb. And we did it on the first difficulty. Told you we'd do it. Or maybe I didn't record that actually because I did it off stream. So it's nice to nice to have done that at least um, on camera, I guess. I guess I'd done like a couple of the runs through um, off camera just to make sure. All right, it tells us to go in here. It should work this time. Watch this, it should work. Um, now what I'm right here, blah, 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 blah. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to go plus... Because this used to be like a little thing that started cracking, which is cool, but now it's just this like... I don't know, I don't think it looks as good, <laughs> to be honest. Um, decrease glitch, we've never done it. But now, you see it's purple? Watch, we're going to start a new run. Please work. If this works, I'll be so happy. <gasps> it works! They fixed it. They fixed it. My god. Restart run. Come on, come on. It's fixed. Now I need to know what this does because I've never done it before. Oh, they fixed it, guys. It's actually fixed. Wait, what do you mean new construction? Oh, yeah, it's a new game. It's a new game. So I haven't even got my new we the weapons yet. Yeah, I want to get my weapons upgraded. Unfortunately, I don't get to get my favorite weapon right now. Um, you'll see what my favorite weapon is if you play the other videos. But that is that is awesome. Okay. Yeah, cool. I'm just gonna, even though I don't really need to, I'm just gonna unlock all these ones. I think I'm going to now that this works, I will continue to play this. I'm gonna beat the game, but I'll do it off camera. Um, I probably won't do it like in time for the preview. I'm gonna I'm gonna write the preview already. Um, I've already played enough of the game to, you know, to know it's like they've definitely changed the way this is. Throw damage on, is on that side now. That's weird. Cohesion by five. What about just normal damage? Weapon damage. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then it splits off weapon damage and cohesion and throw damage. Okay, well, I like throw damage. Um, and a bit of cohesion. Oh, that wasn't cohesion. But cohesion by ten is, is pretty nice. Chance increase cohesion again. Why not? If we get another possible rerolls. Yeah, they've changed the way this path is. This path thing works. Maximum shards kept after death. Reroll and what's this? Yeah. Um, sure. Then we're fine. Why not? Why not? Unlock ten meta upgrades. That's what they call them, are they? So I've unlocked all the different areas. Actually, this used to be really ugly as well. What's this like? Oh, finish at least run one run. Well, sir, I definitely have finished a run, so that is still buggy. This looks the same. This does look the same, except now 
these ones, I, I, I need to find them again and use them in a run. So I need to make sure I do that. The best way to do that is probably to turn off stuff that I don't like. Or not even don't like, but just don't want anymore. Can't deactivate more powers. Oh. Ah, because I haven't found other ones yet. I see. I, I think that's probably why. But okay. Um, yeah. Well, I'm much, much, much happier knowing that that's, that's the way that works. Oh, you have to pay for this. It's 100, is it, for the training room? Oh, I'm so close to my favorite weapon. That's the next one. But yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to write my preview up. Like I say, excellent early access game. Not a good review game because it just wasn't there yet. But fortunately, that is the case. Um, enjoy the rest of the videos. Thanks for watching. Um, this is just a preface to the rest of the videos, which is very funny. But this is just how it had to be done. So I could apologize in advance. Bye. Enjoy. All right. <clears throat> Galactic Glitch. I've had this game for a little while now. Um, I had a lot of time to do this demo and I've been pretty, pretty busy. Oh no. It says it's the early access version. I did not realize. I don't think it is. I think this, this is, I have early access release version. It says here. So I'm going to be treating it as such. This is going to be a review. Um, you know, a graded review. Usually if a game is not released, we don't do graded reviews. We would just do a preview. Um, this will be a graded review. It says early access pre-release 0.09. That's, uh, okay. Well, maybe it's a little bit far out. Let me, I'll, I'll check with them. But, uh, as far as we can tell, this is pretty much good to go. Looks really weird. It looks pretty cool, man. It's like, uh, a twin stick, but like you're using physics, but like you're using, you're using like gravity physics, but you're using these like pockets of, uh, of gravity or something to like whip rocks around. It, it, it seemed really strange. Um, I'm pretty excited for it. So grab and throw small enemies for some explosive damage. I'm really, really looking forward to this. Um, this game is very loud for me and it seems very quiet on OBS. So I'm going to just whip this up turn it down on my side see if this is any better maybe a little bit louder still hopefully we can get a nice balance here so the game paused i'm using my controller game pause made from pause probably a lot of questions where are you what's the meaning of life is there a god yeah. St going straight for it this ai Good news, there is. It's me. I just finished creating you. Okay, <laughs> nice. And see, there's this like, there's this kind of look. There's this, you see how you can like push out, but it bounces you? There's these like weird pockets. Um, spin around, RT, LT, nothing yet. Ooh, we have a dash on LB. RT, I can see down there does something, but I can't see it. It doesn't work yet. Okay. I can grab, ah, I'm grabbing hold of rocks. And I'm letting go of the rocks. Okay. So I need something to, to shoot. Is the rocks. I can't get the big rocks. These big rocks are an issue. What if I smash this big rock? With little rocks? Yeah, and then it turns into little rocks. Cool, okay. I think um, the way that we kind of move between stages is weird. I guess it's kind of like just a rogue like where you have a doll's ways, but oh, a grand purpose awaits you doing every, whatever I say, destroying everything in our path. Okay, so, um, RT. I collected it. I RT to collect it, but it doesn't go on. It goes on. By the way, open my head here. It says, you can see, it says the research on the five from the bottom, but it doesn't really say anything. Oh, it does say something else. Tutorial level graph. There is like some debugging information. Oh, it's below my picture, actually. Some debug information, which is quite funny. Um, I don't seem to be able to turn it off, but it's okay. It will, it will okay. Um, fire, RB, tap. So, RB. Now I can actually fire. And it has a cooldown, and I have LT as well. But that doesn't seem to be working. So. But it did seem to be a roguelike. We did create, we did get a new, like, equipment. Or, so maybe, maybe it is going to be a So, we have two ways to attack now. 
I don't know which one is better. You have the ability to briefly glitch out of reality. Um, oh, it is not the other one. Okay. Use it to dodge enemy attacks. Whoa, okay, that was weird because I definitely I thought I got through with that, but we're okay. It didn't hurt, but pushing it back. Promising specimen so far. Oh, yeah. She's talking too fast. Nice, a special attack is charged as you damage enemies. The bottom bar is filled, fire away. Okay. I did it. Did nothing. It sucked. Okay, that one, that one was balls. LT. We did it. That time it did something. Okay. Got a rock. Can I take a rock with me? I can. Yes, you are perfect. Finally, I did it. Now come out of that training sim and let's start tearing things up. Exit training sim. RT is just like confirm as well as grab throw. <laughs> grab throw confirm. Grab and throw small enemies. Oh, you can grab the enemies themselves. Hold it to skip. No. Welcome to the outside, my perfect little pupil. This is the science station I've been stuck in. It's the only place safe from the corruption. The corruption has spread everywhere else and it poisons everything it comes in touch with. I'll explain more later. Now it's time for you to earn your keep. I'm ready. You're probably not ready. Let's go. Um, to be honest, I'm like, I look like I'm corrupted. I'm like purple smoky. I think that's kind of the color of corruption in most games. That has that concept. Your job is simple, find a way out of here. That includes blowing up any corrupted that get in your way. Oh look, here comes one now. I do still have my shooting thing. Okay, that's interesting. The rocks reappear, that's also good to know. Oh, this guy. So yeah, throwing rocks does more damage. That's the thing. Uh oh. I want to cancel this one back. <laughs> oh! I got dodge LB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really need to dodge it. It's okay for now. Look at that, some kind of glitch in space time. It's a galactic glitch. And I say, if you find a second point like this one, I bet you can teleport between them. Oh, I have two options now of where to go, and I can see my little menu as well. Let's go down this way. This, this rock seems weird. I want to know what this rock is. It didn't do anything. Okay. Well, I've got this. Immediately we're getting some ship cohesion. Um, we need one, I guess. But I'm not going to collect it yet. Maybe because it might be just two, so I'm just going to collect it. It too much. All right, we're all good. Let's keep going down. Look, it's a rift from another reality. These rifts can hold valuable items. By getting near it, you'll pull it into this reality. Be careful, you'll have to face whatever comes on over with it. Ah, oh, so it's like a little mini boss. I can. Uh... Oh, I'm not allowed to break that. Even though it comes into this world, I'm not allowed to get I got to The rules are strange. Alright, we get to choose. We get to choose something. We got this one. Upgrade protocol evasion. You saw power upgrades. Okay, I guess that's. I don't know, that's just a little passive. Backstabber, double backstab damage. Fire shot after new enemies appear. Great. First shot after new enemies appear. Great shockwave. Seems pretty silly. Nearby enemy missiles turn friendly. Excuse me? That's pretty awesome. Let's try that. On enemy missile, but how do I use it? Surely they're not just gonna be or every missile that comes in, so I don't know how to use it. I don't like the big rocks. I don't like, I, I can't seem to use them as well. I want to be able to break them up and stuff, but it takes like a while to do that. And I feel like instead of doing that, isn't it better to just shoot? <laughs> you know? Instead, I'm trying to break these rocks up so I can use them, but isn't it better to just be shooting?
Teleport point, alright. Hey, there's something over here, it's purple. Maybe I need I need something for that? Okay. Maybe I need a key. Maybe it's a boss room? Maybe key or something? Oh, this guy's healing? Alright, this guy's healing. Kill this guy. I can grab the little guys. Uh so I got the cookie. You see, now I need to I need to break this rock so I can use it. It's kind of good to sell. Right. Shard. So shards are is it a rogue light? Light with flowers levels through the roof. Activating this one is bound to be a tough fight, but who knows, it might just be worth it. So I mean we want to we're gonna do it, obviously. But... So far we haven't really encountered anything tricky. Now this is the see what I mean? I'm more rocks. You, you're purple. Oh my god, okay. Well that makes sense. It's supposed to be a top enemy, so it's like super purple. I can dodge with the thing in my mouth. In my mouth. Oh, you got another one, okay. You got that. Gotcha! Alright, well first you, because you just seem to be useful power upgrades. I don't know what this is. it just comes to be passive upgrades. This has got some more for cohesion back. Thrown objects shock enemies. Really like that, because we do that. Do concern that damage and shock for dodging. Now receive some shards when jumping into an enemy sector. Um, I like this. I like this. So we are getting some like artifacts or something. If we're comparing it to other roguelikes, like artifacts in like a like, slave aspire or something, because they're just kind of like those ones are like just passive they do stuff and things happen. The other ones are like things that we have, right? But we seem to be getting a lot from just this first area. So maybe there's not that many areas. Oh, I really need to kill this guy. Over here. We got him. We got him as well. Remember, we do have a uh, healing somewhere still. There's a teleport point. Wow, this this map is seems like huge. That's the final challenge of this area. This is your moment. Time to shine. Or it's quite spectacular. It's a toss up, really. Well, we don't want to do that. We want to go around all the other areas. First. Explore the map. Want to get all the upgrades? Right now. Can I grab you? I <laughs> can. And I have you for a couple of seconds. That's pretty sweet. I like that. I like that a lot. I need to be really careful. Oh, yeah. oh is this just a normal green guy fight? Rock. 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 Did that hit me? It did. I can't use this ability on this guy because... I was gonna say, I can't use the ability on this guy because I can't shoot the back of him. And, uh, because obviously he can shoot the dodge pass me first. Um, I move slowly. Used for upgrades. So this is weird. Upgrade protocol destruction, resistance, so... I think this, yeah, increased max cohesion, movement speed, weapon damage. I do like weapon damage, but I feel like... Four health is not very much. Getting one of those seems really nice. There's an upgrade. It's just a completed one. The game looks really nice. Style. Style. Now, you see, I had to I had to wait until it had already dashed when I started charging my shot. I assume we're gonna heal up in between floors, but we do have the boss still to fight. But I didn't know if it was like Isaac, where you could fight the boss and then, you know, continue around the level, so we're gonna do all of this first. Right. As far as I can tell, we've done everything. Um, except this. Oh no. Yeah, 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 but there's like an extra way you can go out there. So maybe it's like Isaac where we need to beat the game a, a time or two? 
uh, even more to unlock like alternate paths, something like that. Isaac. But I do want to just check out this place real quick because yeah, this. <coughs> I just can't seem to get out of there, so we have to go this way. I don't know if you notice how like, shoot. You see how it like comes back in, like even stronger. That's what I saw them do when they like this deep, which is why I was like, you can do some really weird stuff with like the gravity. So, oh, hello. It's just in here. Isn't it? It's not a boss. It's uh. I assume that doesn't break up in one way. Yeah, I was correct. I just wanted to the shot. I need you to dash so I can go. Hey, oh! Wouldn't mind if you grab this up for me. You are gonna. Haha, I you! And then I shot it and I broke both the rocks because I slapped one rock into the other. That was. Cool. There's a guy we haven't faced yet. That's... Can't shoot his own guys though. Seems kind of dumb. You need help. Whoa! You need to remember the dog. Instead of like going through it, I ain't fucking lost. Long day stay. What's a work? What's a work? The rainstorm is finished. I can open the door. Cool it down in here, shall we? Alright. Get you, get you, get you, and then. Does that door open up as well? I have to know. I'm very sorry. Oh, I have to know. Does it allow me to go here instead? It doesn't. You see, so I do think there might be some Isaac stuff going on here. We'll see, though. We'll see as we as we play the game. Area two, as far as I can tell. A teleport point. I don't know why there'd be a teleport point there. Seems weird. Glitch space to poisoned reaches. Grab and throw small enemies for some explosive damage. We already got them. Shit. More tips. We want more tips. Unlocked if all sectors were clear. Oh, so I got it. And then this is speedrunner. Unlock if level is finished quick. So that you've got to do it really fast. But I can get this one, but I can't get this one. Okay. Interesting. I like that. That reminds me of a... Um, Oh, there was a game. Oh, you know what? Now the game's too loud. Um, there was a game I played with Kim maybe earlier this year or last year. It was a roguelike. It was a like a top-down action co-op roguelike. It was... Oh, there it is. They look like little flame guys. Ember Knights, is that what it was? I just remember, before I, the name popped up, I was like, they look like little flames, little embers, and then I remembered. So yeah, Ember Knights, um, and it was like, if you do a level really fast, or if you do it in a certain way, um, uh, if you do it in a certain way, you get to, you get to kind of unlock extra, extra uh, collectibles and stuff, which is nice, like extra upgrades. Hey, you can buy powers and enhance your weapons. You can also overload your powers with this access node. Gear up and let's get back to breaking out the simulation. So, glitch access. Access the simulation's code to enhance your powers. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna do it. This is, this is a very strange, okay. Select power to, oh, I can just literally just upgrade some. So, a nearby enemy missiles turn friendly and can create duplicates. Throw an object, shock and damage enemies. I mean, on, on enemy missile nearby, on grav gun use. I definitely want this upgrade. Not enough upgrade protocols. I don't know what that means. Oh, I need to collect. Okay, I see it, yeah. Last hope. Fire a huge blast and heals you when you're about to die. One time use. That's cool. 
Quickly killing an enemy that damaged you gains 100 shards. Nah. Increase your weapon's power. We'll take that. Get a shield while holding an object. Interesting. I do really like the holding mechanics. I only have a thousand though, so I can upgrade the power of the weapon or the shield. I think we haven't had... We haven't healed, actually. Um, I think we haven't had too much problems with getting hit yet, so I will take the damage with that shield. I, I think I might miss... Oh, full recharge. I think I might miss out on that one. I think that would have been a really cool, really cool way to play. Poison reaches, grab and throw small enemies. That is the only tip in the game, I guess, at this point. At this juncture. Um, now we're in the poisoned reaches. It does look different as well. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's nice. That looks nice. Please don't explode in the poison or anything like that. Oh, they fucking do. I knew it. I knew it. God damn, that's going to be really annoying to deal with. Because I like to throw stuff. And now I've got to, I'm making... Ooh, things that I need to... Uh-oh. He has a lot of life. This poison lasts lasts a really long time, it seems like. Oh my god. I'm really going to, like, damage the space I have to move around. Oh, okay, okay. They make little guys. That's, that's okay, we know that. We figured that out now. Alright, alright. We've got three places to go. Let's go. Up here we're not allowed. Why? It's the same thing again. Get oh, it's blocked from this side, it says. Did the other one say that? I don't think it did. Oh, ghosts! Oh my god, have you guys seen the Matrix? Me too. Matrix reloaded, of course. But they are like those guys, right? They're like phasing in and out. Yeah, they're like the, the freaking brothers. At least they don't heal. They phase back in. Yeah, I do need. I'm glad I got more damage because this could have been really annoying with, with a lot, of, you know, with a lot less damage. These guys are already taking quite a lot of hits. Ooh. So Go down. Yeah, never had an option. Um, yep. Yeah, why not? As long as we can handle it, we want to be getting as many upgrades as possible. Ow! Team charging his spit attack. Oh, now there's web. That's what that is. It's web. It's gonna slow me down. Oh, there's a guy over here. Come here. I got you. That, those spiky rocks are awesome. Those are our bread and butter. We need, as soon as we see one of those, big damage. But you see how we're like damaging our own space? We're, we're blocking ourselves because when we throw the poison rocks, oh damn, and they make little guys, Jesus Christ, man. I need to get out of here, yeah. I got hit a couple of times there because I didn't realize they were gonna break up and break up and break up. Right, adds a second dodge. I do like that. Infinite inflict backstab damage when hitting an enemy from the side. Also pretty nice. Take 30% damage less from collisions. I do think a second dodge is gonna be good, but I feel like I need to be dodging more frequently anyway. I'm just not doing that well. Ah, these guys. Oh shit. Yeah, they're really difficult to see. They do they do pop in out of nowhere. I really need to be keeping my eyes open. Oh my god, their attacks are so awkward. They're really, really weird. Oh, give me that. Yeah, yeah, give me that in the other. Wow, that was really... That sucked. Um, that was really, really bad. I need to be careful of those guys. I'm not quite used to their attacks yet. I need you to die. I don't know why, but you just seem like a dangerous creature to have alive. You're very big. Also, we can go in the poison clouds, just not for very long. That's, that's, that's good. That's really good to know. I'm using my dodge. Can you remember? I have my dodge, like, on the other button because I want to be charging my attack, but I should, I need to have my finger on the dodge button all the time and then move it to the other one if I, if I need to. I feel like we have an opportunity to use it. Yeah. So we've already been here, so let's go this way. There we go. 
distance. There's another spider boy. Charge another big attack there. We're all good. That looks good to me. Let's get out of here. Oh, whoa! Why to use what? What is this? To heal? I had a healing thing all along. Okay, well, that's good to know. We had like one heal. We had like an Estus flask. webbing up the place. But yeah, that guy just like attacked me as soon as I entered the zone. That has to be something, that's something we have to be really careful with in the future. I can't just be like going in and losing losing life every time. That's, uh, as soon as I get in somewhere, I need to be ready to dodge. I thought it might, like, you know, start us out a little bit somewhere safer, but I think it just proved that that's not always the case. Enjoying this. You know, I played a, I reviewed another twin stick shooter recently that was like a genre mashup. But it's kind of funny that we're getting another twin stick shooter genre mashup. But you know, twin stick shooters are just so satisfying, man. They're just, they're just, I don't know. They're immediately obvious, like how to play, and so you can start doing some really cool things with them really, really early on. I mean, who doesn't, I mean, you just hold the button and move around, you know? It's it's obvious what's going on. It's it's easy to control, but there's kind of a, a subtle mastery of it, you know? You can really, you can, especially with like, if you can drift, like the other game had like a lot of drifting mechanics and stuff. Oh, there you are, you little cheeky boy, I'm looking for you. And so you could like, you could get like speed boost and drift and stuff. And so there's always like just little subtle mechanics of how you can best manipulate the ship and things. Ooh, you know what? Let's go in here and then immediately let's grab this. No, that's not, let's grab the wrong one. I want to throw this at you because it's an amazing rock. And there's another amazing rock. So what do you do? You're going to get that rock. You're going to get that rock. You're going to get this blast. You're gonna get this rock. You're gonna get this rock. You're gonna get this rock. Get out of here. Get out of my line of sight. Means you're dead. Oh, you're like a corrupted one. Uh oh. Uh oh. You need to die, bro. You need to die. Die. See a rock. Got ya. Nice. Four options. Very nice. Um, is in the poison. We have to give it a second. Ooh, the upgrade protocol resistance. So is there actually an upgrade protocol here? Destruction. Useful power upgrades to increase. So that's what we keep them for. Protocol gravity. Increase throwing damage. I really like that. We don't have one yet. We have two evasions one. We have a defense one. I think I'm going to go for this gravity one. I really like the... I like that part of the game a lot. Why is this? Why can I go here immediately? From those, you can go to <clears throat> you can go to other areas with teleports, um, with rifts. You can go to rift from rifts to rifts and teleports to teleports. It seems like okay. Oh, okay. oh, Gucci baby! I need to start killing you before you start killing too many guys. Give me the that booty. We gotta kill it. Yeah, we do need a bit more damage. I want to be able to kill these guys. And, oh, yeah, it looks like we can kill them. I wouldn't say we kill them in like a single, you know, blast, like triple, like burst fire. I think it'd be good to kill them. Like that. But it seems like we actually can. Although the last shot seems to do more damage. It was like 7, 7, 12. Yet. Two places to go up here. Oh, that is blocked from that side. So we gotta go this way and come back around and open up as far as. What is that over there? I don't know, I can't. I'm, you really can't like look around in this game as you're fighting. You've got to really kind of be focused on, on what's immediately available. But what is this? What is it? It's like a shield I can use?
What is it? Shield it. I don't know what it... I can't, like, throw it or anything. See, it's, it's got a question mark on the map, actually. Oh, my head's above the map. Let me, let me just move my guy just a minute just so you can see what's going on in this map here you see the mini map up there it's like a question mark but i obviously don't have the upgrades so we can do anything with it. but in the future in the future right so oh yeah yeah let's deal with the enemies first before we get ahead of ourselves totally a good idea got you oh no he blocked he blocked he blocked that guy blocked the damage for him. Alright. I oh, don't mind a bit of cohesion. We'll open this door up. And now it's open up. So didn't seem didn't like do any animation. I didn't like smash through. Uh yeah, this is the boss of the area. Get you killed immediately. Let's uh let's get rid of these guys. Hiding behind a big rock is really good to kill because it just kills all those little dudes. They all just like smash into the rocks head first like big dudes. Uh oh. He's gonna keep necking guys. Oh my god. Okay, I really need to kill. You're getting all wet. Same again, they're like blocking the damage. He oh god! I got one of them. I got one of them. I hit him a little bit. Whoa! Poison, get out of the range. At least it's not immediate damage. That's really good to know. Almost dead, almost dead. Come on. Not almost dead, but that 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 one that pocket on the side is almost. Gone. There we go, we got it. That's what we want. That's what we want. We're gonna kill it normally, and I want to kill it with like the special destroy the the bulbs kind of thing. I want to see if it, maybe it'd do something different. You know? Maybe killing the bosses in a different way. This something we'll have to find out next time. He's dead. Or maybe just you know maybe it just does damage. We'll, we don't know yet, but it could be. It, it could be. That would make it very interesting. I forgot I could just grab those little guys, so now I don't need to be as scared of them as I was. Like, they're coming at me, they're so fast, I need to kill them. But actually, you can just be like, got ya. Bye. Ooh, get a run to the face. Shot. Ooh. Let's get some upgrades, let's go to the next area. Don't need to teleport back, I'm not sure why that's there. Seems weird. Explosive damage. I want to upgrade my grab gun. I love that thing. Oh, I didn't, <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to load. It's like, press any button. Press any button. All rooms cleared. We've got it. Definitely not done this because we're taking this time. We're exploring, man. That's okay. We're allowed to do that. Right. Grab shocker. I want this upgrade. Boom. Rare passive. Add a second dodge. Add a triple dodge. Why not? Why not? Um... I guess. I don't see... Uh, not really super valuable, I don't feel like. Okay, it's a huge shockwave. That's nice. I definitely want this. I need two pink things. Enemies do twice as much damage to each other. I, that's cool. Turk 10% damage less from explosions. Spawn a little help after entering a new sector. Well, that wouldn't be that would be immediately useful. Um, but I can't get both of these. And I think I'm just going to go for my weapon upgrade. And I think I might go for this. I think this is pretty interesting. Let's just go. So what I can see at the bottom is I see two types of two types of currency and I'm assuming that the top type is like rogue light permanent upgrades but I don't know yet I don't know if that's actually the case with this game but we are going to area three I'm not sure how many areas there could be maybe up to five potentially um the music has stopped have I what has happened oh it's because I wasn't clicked on the game okay I wasn't clicked on it wasn't an active window so Grab and throw small enemies for some explosive damage. Gotta get more tips, bro. We need more tips for version 1.0. Ooh, this is a cool, like, uh, derelict space. 
Whoa, more stealth fighters. They like these guys, don't they? I don't. It's very hard to see. Them. I don't like you. You're scaring me. Even though I, I don't even know what you do yet. I assume. I'm assuming. What you do. Whoa. Yeah, these guys are like. I'm worried about. What about maybe colorblind people or something? I, I feel like it could be. It could be really hard to see some of these ships. Personally. I don't really understand. Personally, to me, I don't know why you would want, like, invisible enemies in a game. Only if it was, like, maybe a hunting game or something. Yeah, but in a game like this, I feel like, uh... I don't know. Enemies like that seem a little, little strange to have. Because, you know, a lot's going on. It's not about <laughs> trying to find the enemy, you know? It's not a... It's not a hidden object game. I just don't understand like like what the challenge is there besides hopefully you can see well enough or, or no, I don't know, it's kinda weird. Enemies that disguise themselves like that, yes, maybe. But um ones that are just hard to see seem a little against what you're trying to do here. So now we can break this open. It doesn't break it open, I guess it just works from then on. We need to come back and fight that boss, but let's get used to the area a little bit. There's a lot, a lot still to do. You don't forget, throwing objects now stun enemies and stuff, so we're like, we're pretty good in this level. It seems like there's a lot of debris we can use. There's a lot of enemy mines we can use. It just seems like uh, it's, it's kind of a perfect stage for us, to be honest. Yeah, we're kind of just crushing this, I feel like, with the grab gun. Uh, sure. Let's, let's, let's... We can do one. We don't want to come all the way back. Uh-oh. Don't go invisible, you little shit. Get back here. <laughs> God, now they're all invisible, man. Is this, is it? I don't know, is this like, why? <laughs> I don't think it makes it any better. I I, I, just, I really don't think I like that as a mechanic, to be honest. It seems just kind of without reason. How do you make an enemy more difficult? I don't know, you can't see them? I'm like, well, yeah, I guess, but. Like, what's the challenge you have to overcome? Get better eyes? What have we got here? Gain temporary damage boost when new enemies appear. A Kimbo gun. It's not so bad. Launch a few missiles when entering a new sector. Increase in grabbable mass. Hells yes. We can grab bigger things. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, yes. Dude, it is game over. What are these, what are these guys going to possibly do to us now? Look at this. I'm throwing boulders at them. You can't stop me. I cannot be stopped. I wonder if that means I can also pick up like medium ships or something as well. I don't know. What are you going to do to me? I'm just going to pick you up. Launch you in this. Bye bye. Launch you into another rock. Oh, it's huge. This is huge. What an upgrade. What an insane upgrade. And you can use medium objects several times, it looks like. Oh god, that pushback's really annoying, especially when they're in frickin' visible. Got ya. That it? Was that the only- Oh, it was just- that was a single one. Oh, boost ability. I don't know what that did. I didn't read it, because I'm stupid. Should probably- That engine boost looks like you gained your first permanent ability! It is a rogue light. They grow up so fast. Time to make use of it. Try it on that insta instable jump gate. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. 
Wait, what? The stable jump gate. Is this one where you can't get through? So now we can get through. Now we can get through areas we can't get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom! New areas, baby. Right, let's go down here and fight this this boss. Because now that we've got this upgrade, we have nothing to fear. I were really, I were trying to pick up that ship. I was, I was praying. Um, although then the game would just be up. <laughs> we're sure. I mean, they just wouldn't be able to stop us. I can already pick up the rockets of the enemies and just throw them back at them. I'm like a D&D monk now. Come on, guy. Jump at me with your invisibility shield or whatever this shit. Stupid thing. Ugh. Come on, let me just... Throw it there you go. Right. Um, yeah, grav gun upgrades always. 19% throw. So you get you get a passive upgrade and you get like the other upgrade. Okay, well. Get me wrong there. <laughs> yeah, power through. So it just means we can get to new areas, which we couldn't to before. We couldn't get before. Even though it's the first run of the game, so it's not like we were ever blocked, really. We, we couldn't get to one area, and now we have a permanent upgrade so that we can get to that area in the future. Uh, why not? Dude, you can't stop me. I'm just gonna throw your missiles back at you. What can they do? What can they do? This game is, is busted. We've busted it wide open. Oh, got him. I got him. To be fair, I got hit. Dude, can we actually use that shield now? Is that what this means? No, no effect still. Still need more, more power! Now, I obviously need a permanent upgrade. Is this the boss? Alright, well that one's dead. Two throws. One throw. Oh, this one's got the shield. One throw. One throw so far. Two throws, three throws, dead. I cannot be stopped, sir. Stop it. Stop trying. Uh-oh. Oh, that one came back. That was that was weird to see. Kind of auto aims for you sometimes. You gotta be careful because it like aims rocks at other rocks when you want to throw them really far away. But well, it's okay, we, we got through it pretty easy. Not unscathed, but not, not exactly hard done to. Obviously, we're always going to get this one. We're never going to get this one. Um, it's always going to be this if we can. We can't don't have it right now. Become indetectable when new enemies appear. Um, it triggers a big shock love when colliding with enemies. Nah, we don't want any of those. We'll keep, we'll keep this. But can I upgrade anything here? That's a triple dodge. No. Red to purple. No. No, we don't have anything to upgrade. Let's just go. Heal up fully. Oh, we have the we have the healing as well. So we have like a full heal as well. The behemoth. Okay. Oh my god, these count as medium objects. Holy shit. The behemoth was straight onto a boss. Uh-oh. Danger. 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 Bemo says danger. Didn't it sound like Demo? Oh, is it dead? Is it over? It's it's Jova, bro. They, they can't do anything to us. <laughs> We're too godlike. The 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 throwing is too powerful. Glitch access. Uh, 
Still don't have anything that we can do here, so this is just, just, just next area, I guess. Oh, we're doing full healing. We really we super needed that. Glad we got that. The armory. I'm ready for another boss. Let's go. Dude, I need to be able to throw big objects now. Ugh. I missed with my big shot. There we go. Well, that was your own fault, dude. You threw that at me. You know, you started it. Why is this thing? Why is why is this? This is what well, that thing is there. Like eventually, it just moves. It just moves left and right sometimes. Oh, thank you. You're a lifesaver. Thanks, guys. Thanks for breaking that that thing up for me, so I can just destroy you all with it immediately, effortlessly. We're done again? Jeez. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't know what that was. Oh, what? Uh, that hurt. Um, I wanted to go back out here because this looked like one of the ways we could break through. Oh, it's blocked from the other side. Okay. Sorry, Silent Hill. Um... Alright, I think we may have broken the game. <laughs> it's just... There is there is no challenge here anymore. We have ruined the game by playing with the main mechanic of the game. That was... that was... scary. But I, we didn't need to be scared. It's just because we'd never seen... Oh, that was scary. But we'd never seen that attack before, but that attack actually hit me, which is very scary. Can I pick you? I can grab that ship, yeah. You really need that ship dead. Can't be having you repair and stuff, bro. Ah, you blocked my shot. Bye bye. Oh, that was a boss guy, I didn't realize. Right, well, obviously purple. We're going for all the purple upgrades. These are weird, but they don't do anything. They're, they're just like obstacles in the stage. Goodbye. <laughs> that was fast. That was a real fast level. You, the other one I don't like. Get rid of you. Um, we, yeah, we've done all this, so let's just move on. Music's music's pretty dope, but pretty quiet. I feel like I feel like the the what do you call it? The mixing is off. I want I want the music to be up louder. Turn this up. Because the music's high, but I'm not hearing it enough. There's too much too many explosion sound effects and stuff. You know, like well not too many, but I mean like it's the volumes were wrong. I think this is better. Feel feel better about this now. I can hear this much more. Get out of my face. Ah, when I hit my when I hit my own like rocks <laughs> I want to reuse. It destroys two of them, you know, so it's really bad. 
destroys the one I'm throwing and the one I'm throwing it at, so it feels like awful when, when it happens. Oh, do you hit me? You little shit. Ah, I'm blocked by my rock. That shield is really strong, but we really need, we need uh we need extra like shield damage. Because once we get through there, it seems we seem like we blast it to pieces, but even the rock that we throw at it seems to uh the damage seems to get heavily reduced. I'll take this heal, we'll take this power up. Leave a fiery trail when using boost. Don't Honestly, mind that it seems okay. Chance to spawn a missile when dodging. I do dodge a lot, and I'm trying to connect, get this thing back on. Here we go. Hurricane, create a shockwave after dodging, dealing damage to enemies. Legendary. Well, let's take the legendary one. That seems probably just a good idea. It seems though they were all kind of similar as it as it is. You're all dead. Uh, you, can I have my crystals, please? Yay, or whatever they are. Bum ba dum. Go ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. Aww, why'd I do that? I could have grabbed that rocket. Oh, you, I really. I don't like those guys. I don't like these guys. I don't know what it is, but. They freak me out because they, they hit me once and now I'm like, can't handle them. Even though they're actually pretty easy to handle. It's just because these ones are very, they they confuse you because you're like, I'm going to get hit. But you're actually totally fine. I couldn't grab that rocket. That was really scary. I can't grab those big rockets for some reason. So I let it get close to me and then it hit me. Oh, I saw it turn friendly then. That was good. These big ones, I can't seem to grab them, so we need to get we need to just get rid of them. Or I'll just dodge around them, that's probably even a better idea. That was simple enough, but we had, did have to use oh, here we go. But we did have to use my uh, I have to use my healer. So we're gonna go into the boss without heals here. Which is a little scary, especially because I got hit again right away just now. It's more than like actual we're not dodging or something, it's more just sensory overload that we're losing to sometimes, you know? You panic when you're like, what's that ring? Why is it around me? It's gonna hurt me. Like, instead of just being like, just give it a second and then we'll just dodge out of the way, you, you like freak out. And so it's kind of like you hurt yourself. It's kind, of, it's kind of like Dark Souls, you know? Like most of the damage is you panicking. That's It's kind of funny in that sense. I'm not calling it a Souls like, all right? I'm just saying there's a comparison that you can make doesn't have to make it a Souls game. You know, I take it back, it was a joke. <laughs> yeah, we're good, we're good. Ooh, this is scary. I really want one of these guys dead. Yeah, like that. I picked up that fucking ship, dude. Uh oh, uh oh. I need you to be taking damage faster than you are. I don't like you. Yeah. It's these guys again, it's the combo. These guys are the combo, bro. I'm telling you. They're just the panic combo. They make you panic so hard. get hit I might die I'll be real careful right now whoa oh, I should have thrown them back at him panicking again no those ones you can't you can't throw back remember be careful get fucked die Oh, it's end of the level. What? Ah, game's easy. Panicking down to my last life. I think we're doing all right, but I could be doing better. Obviously. 
Glitched, glitched space to shattered frontiers. Okay. This is this is like in between levels. Does it always say that in between levels? I think it does. Collected, give me some moolah. Um, inflict double. Nah, regular deals damage to nearby enemies. Nah, quickly kill an enemy that damaged you. No, 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 no. All we care about is this. Um, huge shockwave. But this one is. I can grab big objects. This seems insane. There's no way I'm not getting this, right? There's no way I'm not getting this. I've got greens, but I don't have anything green that I can upgrade. Is there anything here? This is green. This is actually green. Quickly killing enemy, damage you against 100 shots. I don't really see the purpose of it. We'll get this, we'll just leave. Might as well just keep the money, just in case. We might be able to get something better. If we can get a green thing next time, we'll be able to upgrade it like twice. So that's how I'm kind of seeing this. Bro, I can pick up big objects. I mean, I know this isn't a big one, but now I can just pick up everything. Whoa, you're a ship, not an object. You scary little fucker. Now I'm just now I'm just picking up everything I can, just like, hey little dudes, hey medium dudes, get yeeted. I don't like you guys. Oh no, you're different, but I still don't like you. Look at you. Whoa, whoa! No me gusta. No 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 no. Get away from me. There we go. Cleared. Cleared. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there's nothing to throw! Oh my god, I've been countered. The thing is with the objects as well, is you can even hold them in front of you to, to, to like, so you don't get hit. It seems like a really busted mechanic. It's pretty easy to abuse so far. It does a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Uh, what are you? Oh, we throw it and then we get shards. Okay. I'm sweating like a pig over here. Whoa, what are these freaking Sith Lord ships? Freaking Darth Maul? Is this about? I guess I've just got to get out of that area. That's that's kind of what I'm doing. I don't know if that's exactly the case or if he's just going to keep firing at me, but it feels like I should just not be in that area as a whole. Dude, the, the stun on the ships when you hit them with a rock, it's nuts. Like, you just you just tech out entire ships immediately. Like, they just don't... Like, oh, I really don't like how that ship works. All right, well, now it's gone because I've got it in a stun lock. I'm just going to throw rocks at his face. Get up, dude. Oh, we're gonna pick him up, but easier to throw something out of him. Ow, 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 okay. Get stunned, you nerd. Get stunned, get stunned. Mm. Stunned, no, no. I really need you to not be here. I really need this guy to be dead. There we go, that's one down. This, These guys are really scared. And then the other guy shoots me immediately. I'm gonna die here. I know I'm saying it's busted, but I need to learn the enemies still. I need to heal up a little bit. Okay. It is what? Put double back. Um, well, a green one we do want. Receive some shards when jumping into an enemy sector. 30% damage from collision. Sure. Sure. That's fine. We can't go here because it's a backwards door. We don't have anywhere to heal as far as I can tell. Not yet, and we're nowhere near the end of the level. We're just starting, in fact. So, probably going to be avoiding 
any like special enemies for now. Dude, I keep not seeing any rocks in the middle of the stage. These guys are really scary, man. The range of that attack is too big for me to just like to process sometimes. I'm like, I can't get away from that. I know I can, but it, it, it scares me. Especially when you've got two enemies attacking you. And they're, one of them is shooting stuff like that out, and the other one's got like a giant laser beam on you. It is, it is unnerving. We need a heal. We need some heal. We've got no charges left. I'm sure one of the main upgrades you're going to get is like an extra Estus flask. So we don't really need to worry about that. Obviously, it's the thing with roguelites. Like, doing it on your first time is pretty freaking unlikely because you just don't have the power-ups that you're supposed to have. It's possible if you've played the game a bit and you know the enemies, right? And you know how to play it. But I'm sure we'd get to a point where the enemies were just going to beat us up. Ow! Oh, that see, that bullet exploded into three bullets. That's just something we didn't know. Um, and so, of course, there's always going to be that, right? There's always going to be that. Yes, I did it. There you are again, right where you started from. I reset the universe the moment right after you exited the training sim. I'll explain how I did it another time. For now, get back out there and find us a way out. Oh, just one more thing. I made some to make you stronger. Go ahead, take a look. Right, what can we upgrade? This is our little hideout, a place to recharge and reset. Don't get too comfortable. Your task is to break us out of the simulation. You'll need to overcharge the sim and destroy it. I also construct new rooms and additional stations in here for you. But you need some of those precious orbs when you gather on your runs. They're the energy source I used to keep myself, I mean the station, running smoothly. I'm sure you'll figure out how to get more. So I'm sure we're the bad guys, right? Contract simulation logs. Check out your past records, don't care. Enhance your abilities beyond the simulated bounds of physics. Okay, well, sim not glitched. Chaos already at lowest setting. Glitch to swap. Some glitches makes the game more difficult. We can do that. Oh, we don't have the paying, the cost. Pick and choose your weapons. Unlock new weapons and expect your, and, uh, expand your arsenal. Check, check your unlocked powers. Get out of my way. 100 for that. I don't think so. Um, we're already at lowest level. So what we want to do is... Get upgrades, obviously. Resource level. New construction is underway. Upgrades are ready when you can prove your various stats, like brain surgery for your ship. Oh, God. It's the sphere. It's the Final Fantasy X sphere. Resale upgrades. All right. Um, add more cohesion at start. Add more cohesion charges. That's what I was saying. Um, damage for all weapon attacks. Reroll rewards. So we want this. We obviously want this. This goes to give shards instead of health when already at full health. That's interesting. Add more cohesion charges. 200. We could get that as well. Increased damage for all throw attacks. You know we're getting that, man. That's what the game's about. Throw increase current. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you know I'm not messing around here. What is this? All throw attacks. You know this is what we're doing, man. Why can't I get this one, though? Why was this? Why can't I get this one? Can I reset? Right. Can I only choose one or the other? No, you just can't seem to get that one. Okay. Let's damage all weapon attacks. We want more cohesion. Over here, more cohesion at start. I don't really care about, but... 34. We could probably get something. Oh, reroll. You know what? We could also just... Unlock something else, like a new weapon. That kind of could be kind of fun. Pick and choose your weapons. Alright. Take a pick and enjoy the exits. I will, sir. So now we have a blaster. I actually kind of like that. It's kind of fun. The, the recall is a little difficult, but, you know. Training room? Practice your move. No, 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 no. Things are too expensive in this game. But I want to unlock new weapons, for sure. Behold your arsenal ways. Choose wisely which weapons you want to unlock. And by wisely, I mean whatever causes maximum chaos. Yes. Um, boomerang blaster. Range medium. Unlock. I can unlock what? Any of these for free? Curved bullets fly straighter. It is known. DPS 37. Quick and snappy sounds good. What is... What? Not enough orbs. Oh, that cost me to upgrade that. I didn't realise. Um, okay. I, I don't mind that. 
Seems okay. It said the DPS was high. And now, right, now I have this one. Okay. So they're just random ones in between runs. That seems fine. Seems fine. So, from that one run, we got an extra heal, a new weapon type, 15% more throw damage as well. So, it's obviously, like I say, it's obviously, um, I'm sure you can do it in the first run. You know, I don't know how close we got to doing that because I, I really don't know how many levels there are. But, um, you know, we were, I think we were doing pretty well. We had a pretty good run going. Uh, there were some attacks we just didn't see how to get around them. So it was too late. We just took some damage, took a little bit too da much damage early on in that level and just uh, couldn't get through the rest of it, right? Like we got surprised by that, that exploding bullets into several bullets. That's just how these games work. You got to learn the patterns and then I'm sure you can just crush them, crush it. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with that, and now we're down so fast. Um, I'll be doing some more runs. I will be obviously finishing this game um, and, and and reviewing the whole thing. Uh, I'm very curious to see how far along we actually were in the run because there was no like map system or anything, so you really have no idea. And I wonder if there is going to be, you know, once you get to the end, there's more stuff, you know, like Hades does, like Isaac does, or if it's just um you know what you have here presented and then there's just a lot of different unlocks which is kind of how ember knights works um you know it's just mostly about going through on the different difficulties and unlocking everything but yeah that's a lot of fun galactic glitch i really like the uh the picking up and throwing stuff mechanics that's that's my build bro that's that's what i'm going for i absolutely love that galactic glitch i'm excited to play some more but it's already 11 p.m damn man. time goes fast time goes fast i'm gonna play some more tomorrow on like my lunch break as well i'm really behind on this game it comes out in like five days and I have only just started it. I should have been starting it since last week, but I've been so busy at work and now I'm just kind of clearing up. And I'm just very excited to start playing some more games, starting with this one. But uh, yeah, look forward to more videos in the future uh, and picking up the pace again on demos. Uh, until then, I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.